Next item is the financial report for December 2020. Recommendation on page 99. For a mover and seconder. Moved by Councillor Cordover, seconded by Councillor Street. Anyone would like to speak to the motion? Councillor Cordover. Thank you, Mayor. The most important thing about this financial report for December 2020, firstly, um, it behoves me to thank Mr Breen, Chief Financial Officer, and Mr Arnold, General Manager, for organising this. Um, it's more of the same, actually, in terms of the summary operating statement containing several variances to the original budget. Those major variances are that rates are $134,000 over budget, with the general rate being $92,000 over, and the garbage rate being $43,000 over budget, of which $13,000 relates to the recycling, and $29,000 relates to garbage collection. Green waste collection revenue is on budget, and in January... $27,000 in supplementary rates were charged. The bit that I always bring up every time we have one of these financial reports is that statutory fees and fines are once again $285,000 over budget, primarily due to planning fees of $286,000 over budget due to greater than expected planning applications. So yet again, um, there is an incredible growth happening right now in Kingborough, for better or for worse. I think we can do more to plan for that growth. But what this financial report shows is that despite COVID really hitting our bottom line in a very significant and meaningful way, thanks to Kingborough being such a great place to live and work and recreate, uh, our financial situation, the damage to it is being largely mitigated by this massive influx of, of planning and development applications and approvals. Now, I think that that is a double-edged sword and we need to tread very carefully because currently we're not doing the kind of um, not doing the kind of community consultation infrastructure planning and um, and debate in the community around whether or not all of that um, development and growth is a good thing and if it is a good thing which i'm very happy to concede after that debate takes place uh, how are we going to manage this growth in a sustainable way so right now we're simply seeing financial reports that show us that we're way over budget here and there uh, as in we're bringing in more revenue than we expected. But there is no, um, to use that word again, concomitant report that shows uh, how we're actually managing this growth. So I thought I'd throw, uh, or at least ask Mr Breen if, um, if I've summarised this correctly. Mr Breen. Are you through you, Mayor? Yes, uh, essentially, the, as you say, the finances are, are looking fairly solid at, uh, for this time of the year. Um, admittedly, when the budget's were put together. It was a very uncertain period of time. Uh, there was no clear direction on the financial outcomes for this council. So, uh, on the basis of that, a fairly conservative budget was put together. Um, but certainly, I think one of the things we have definitely seen is the trend with uh, statutory fees and fines. Uh, that uh, there's been a lot more planning applications than expected, um, primarily as a result of the, the home builder program that the government's put in place. Uh, which is continuing through to March, and then I think we'll see the tail of that uh, coming, going through over the next few months after that. So, uh, look, I think at this stage, uh, certainly COVID hasn't had the impact on council that we expected, and uh, I think it's, uh, it shows that, that we are in a fairly um, lucky community in the fact that most people have been able to, to maintain their jobs. Thanks, Mayor. To conclude my remarks, uh, this is now a number... I can't remember how many in a row we've had now of financial reports that say much the same thing. Um, I think in the long-term financial plan, um, you know, one of the reasons I voted against the long-term financial plan is that it didn't speak to this, this seismic shift that's taken place where we have this enormous amount of growth, but we're not speaking to it. So something fundamental has changed in our community in terms of the amount of population growth, the amount of infrastructure requirements needed, <coughs> the amount of planning and approvals that we're getting, which we can see here in this financial report, and yet we haven't had that other discussion about what does that mean for our infrastructure and what does that mean for our amenity, our, um, what does that mean for the community. We, we just haven't talked about it. So I feel like we did the long-term financial plan almost in a business as usual way without acknowledging what this financial report talks to, which is this um, inexorable demand for people living in Kingborough and, and subsequent planning applications and approvals. So uh, once again, I, I thank the author and the authoriser, and I really welcome that debate about, um, about the situation in which we find ourselves. Thank you, Mayor. Councillor Grace. 